Hi guys, you're back here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch. Um, I'm doing witchcraft all day today because I have such like a big week coming up with work and whatnot. And today is the day before the full moon, so that's a really like big day for me. And I take it off from work if I can, um, or I call in. Um, I'm just one of those people that does me first, and I think everybody should be that person, you know, like. That's why I love Bastet. I've given her a little offering here. And uh, I've poured out a little bit of wine and a candle and I've said a prayer for her and then added a little more figs and mugwort. And if you're wondering what I do at the end with all the stuff in the bowl for her offering, Bastet, I'm going to show them your offering, okay? I did a video on my offering here, but I put essential oils of frankincense and clary sage on this because she likes to relax and sleep, so I put clary sage in there. And then uh, there's mugwort fresh from my garden. She likes that because she's she wants all the best things, and that's my best thing. There's three red jubilee dates and uh, seven dates on the vine. Check out my dates video if you haven't seen that. But what I do with this is I have a spot where after I feel that this is, she's done with it, and she'll tell me in my meditations if I ask and I, you know, concentrate. Then I go bury it in a spot outside where my cat sits all the time, because if you look into it, you know, Bast is a cat, you know, she's the cat goddess, but I'm on so much about Basta, and I don't, that's not the video. The video today is fig, you guys, um, but yeah, when you're done with your offerings, I bury them. What do you guys do with your offerings when you're done? I'd love to know. I want to say also that we're listening to, um, Grateful Dead American Beauty, and if you've never known this album, Oh my god. I'm happy for you because it's like they say in Freaks and Geeks at the very last episode. I wish I'd never heard that album so I could hear it for the first time again. You guys, American Beauty, Grateful Dead, like, so rad. Okay. So, let's talk about figs. This is a fig branch. This is, um, and we'll, we'll get into this and how and why I use it. My husband grows figs from branches that he gets online, and then they start a root system, and he's got fig trees outside now. So that's amazing. I'm going to do a separate video, I think, on the fig tree that we have. Just a quick vlog, because um, it's out in the greenhouse. So, And as you know, I don't script or edit my videos, so I don't want to carry you through my house. That would be weird. <laughs> okay, so first we're going to read from Scotty's book, uh, Magical Herbs, my little Bible. Um, and he says, the fig is masculine, the planet is Jupiter, the element is fire, oh gosh, deities, I'm so bad at pronouncing, uh, Dionysus, Juno, and Isis. Isis is right here on my wall, isn't she? And she is uh, an Egyptian god and connected to Bastet, Bast, and Ra. Those are my three that I usually work with of the Egyptian deities, okay? I work with a lot of deities, but my main one is Bastet. Now we'll get into this. Um, some fa uh, magical uses. Small phallic images are carved from fig wood and carried by women who wish to conceive. I'm going to be doing up a spell for a woman who wants to conceive, and this is a fig branch that didn't make it of my husband's. And I found it in the trash, and I'm like, oh my god, what? I can I have that? And he's like, yeah, I guess. So I threw it in the dehydrator, dehydrated it because it was wet, and now I've got this awesome fig branch that I'm going to make for a client and help her get pregnant, hopefully. So, stay away from the walnuts, my friend, because <laughs> they are for infertility. They are also used by men to overcome infertility or impotency. Fresh, fresh figs are eaten for the same result. So, if you eat fresh figs, you're going to be fertile myrtle. <laughs> okay, uh, or is according to Scotty. Write a question on a fig leaf, and I have a fig leaf outside. They're big, they're gorgeous, so I'm definitely going to take you out to the greenhouse after this. So, do 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 do. Write a question on a fig leaf. If the leaf dries slowly, the answer is yes, or it is a good omen. If it dries quickly, it's just the opposite. Man, that's cool. We're doing that together. We're doing that today, okay? I mean, it's not going to dry today, but we're doing it together today. And I think I'm going to stay in this dress, you guys. I just, I can't change clothes for every video. I know it looks better in the shots, but man, this is my 
full moon dress, and I just love, love, love it. It's I'm gonna stand up. It's gorgeous. It's full length, and like part of it is black at the bottom. I just love it. Okay. A fig, such as the popular Ficus benjaminia, <laughs> grown in the home, is protective and brings the inhabitants good luck. You'll have good luck if you grow a fig in your home. Where I live, we can't grow them inside, but like maybe you can, I don't know. Uh, in the inhabitants, good luck, so everybody in the home. Grown in the bedroom, it aids in restful sleep, and in the kitchen ensures the family will never go hungry. That's really cool. I love all these like little magical uses and traditions. To charm any man or woman, give them a fig. They will be spellbound by your presence as long as long as they like figs. And, and I bring my husband figs because that's like one of his favorite things and he loves exotic fruits and he has a YouTube channel. Check out Jukshai Farms on YouTube. That's Alex. He's awesome. My best friend and my, my love. So, um, to charm any man or woman, give them a fig. They will be spellbound by your presence as long as they like figs. Before leaving home on a journey, place a branch of the fig tree before your door so that you will return home safely and happily. So that's what I got out of the magical herbs of Scott Cunningham on fig. And now we'll be reading from Wicca in the Kitchen by Scotty. Scott Cunningham, I just call him Scotty because I've also obviously never met him, he's passed away, but he is so near and dear to my heart and I actually talk to him in meditations all the time and you know, I don't, I'm not directly connecting with his spirit or anything, but I'm just like trying to ask him questions that I can't find in here and I, I think that's unique and interesting and tell me what you think about that you guys, like I try and connect with Kurt Cobain as well in meditation, so um, it's all up to the person, you know, like how you feel about it. So let's talk about figs from this. Uh, planet Jupiter, element fire. Energies are strength, money, and sex. Again, the sex is there for like the fertility, it, both for a man and a woman. Excellent. It's bothering me. <laughs> lore. You know that I love the lore in this book, right? Also on Amazon Prime, there's a show called Lore. Check it out. The first episode is so cool. It talks about the the bell the bell that people ring if they wake up in the casket because they ate a mandrake root uh, a mandrake uh, a may apple from the mandrake tree and you just put them in a coma for three days and they woke up and they ring a bell. That's that that episode of lore. That first one is so cool. Um, figs are often depicted on Egyptian tomb paintings and reliefs. So that is why I brought out my my sauce stack or my toss deck. Potato, potato, be some besom. It's so pretty. And um, so this is going to be coming up when I read a little bit more. But um, Toth is the Egyptian deity of like, he's the god of so many things. Writing, knowledge, knowledge I believe, but I know writing. And um, yeah, you guys know I'm into that deck and it's controversial. That's okay. Okay. Often depicted on Egyptian tomb paintings and reliefs, in ancient Thebes, Pharaoh Ramses III offered 15,500 measures of figs to Amun-Ra. They were also apparently eaten during certain rituals, such as those to honor Toth, or Thoth. So if you want to honor your tarot deck and you have the Toth deck, or the Thoth deck, um, eat some figs while you're trying to do the divination like that's gonna be amazing and I just learned that in this book and that's so cool because I can connect all these things oh my gosh I just love it and like I don't have to buy anything these days you guys like I buy candles and that's about it and when I run out of an herb I get it but I went crazy at the beginning and just like gathered all the things from my house put them together clean my room out of clothes I mean I took everything out of my room to make it a studio so I could do this, you know, so that everything in here applied to my craft. And if you're able to do that, I really suggest it. Like, getting your clothes out of your room, putting them somewhere else, um, it just makes coming into your bedroom such a peaceful place. And you guys know, like, this is my bedroom. My studio is my bedroom. I have a big bedroom, so that's nice. Um, yeah, so to honor Thoth. The fig 
was a sac what <clears throat> the fig was sacred in ancient Greece and was all associated with many deities including Dionysus and Juno. A fig isn't actually a fruit. It is a hollow bud-like object filled with immature flowers and mature seeds. Man, I wish I had a fig to eat for you guys or even to show you and that's why I'm going to take you out to the greenhouse after this video to show you the figs on the branch. They're just too young to pick. They're not going to be ready. They might not even be mature by the end of the year because you know you just never know when you're growing things. You just got to give it a shot. My husband, Alex, he takes he, he eats a kumquat, saves some seeds, plants them, grows them, and like, he doesn't have to buy seeds most of the time. It's pretty amazing. He's just so talented. Check out Jukshai Farms on YouTube, you guys. Um, and when you eat them, the outside is a little bit like, not hairy, but it has this like, little bit of hair that can kind of like, cut your lip a little bit. So you're supposed to eat them in one direction. You're supposed to eat against those like little cutty things. Um, just so that you don't film them on your lips. It's kind of interesting. And <clears throat> I bet that that has a magical property as well. So, I think we're on magical uses. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Strength and energy or add them to money attracting diets. Okay, so if you're doing kitchen wicca and you're trying to attract money, figs, okay? And if I accidentally said date in any of this, I just get those two confused. But this video is on the fig. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you in this book. Figs and the vine. So yeah, they're kind of like a bulbous fruit. Or not a fruit, I guess. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Figs can also be eaten to boost sexual desire and fertility. Like we said in the other book, great. Figs regained their reputation as an erotic food during a scene in the Ken Russell film Women in Love. I'll have to check that out. Thank you, Scotty. Fig Newtons. <laughs> oh, Fig Newtons. I don't even know if there's figs in there. <laughs> the popular prepackaged food can be used for any of these purposes. Okay, Scotty says Fig Newtons are cool. I guess they've got figs in them, but remember that's a really processed food, um, a glutinous food. I don't know, it's up to you guys, but if you like Fig Newtons, roll with it. I think we talked about everything. Oh, right. So this, I'm going to be just carving um, on it for a client, like we talked about, um, and for fertility. So I'm really, really excited. Um, I'll probably end up showing a video on that for you guys. Um, because I'm trying to show you everything I do and that's why I put out sometimes like six seven videos in a day is because I just want to show you how to do witchcraft like in between work after work before work all day on your day off um, because this stuff will make you a better person this stuff will help you uh, love yourself come out of depression be have confidence um, I have people be attracted to you. You can get anything you want with magic, you guys. I, I swear. I promise. If you focus enough, you can get absolutely anything you want. I love you. Thank you for joining me for this video on figs, a talk about Bastet, and a bit of a rant. So, yeah. I love you guys, and now I'm going to take you out to the greenhouse and show you our figs. Have a really beautiful day.